Hello everyone and welcome to this session of the Global Education Conference um, which is called Hello Little World. I am simply the moderator and it's been my pleasure to try and organise uh, this session for us because I think this is one of the remarkable groups that I am a member of to let me connect and collaborate across the world. So it's all of us who are presenting and we will introduce ourselves and show you a little bit about ourselves as this session goes through. I'm Anne Merchant from Australia and I will just first of all share with you the sponsors of this um, conference. So without these sponsors the conference would not be able to go ahead so you can see um, the, the number of organisations that are instrumental in helping us and of course this year we are partnering with iEARN in this online conference. We would love to know where everybody is from tonight so I'm hoping that you can see the toolbar. If you look to the right of our names there's a letter A. If you go up the top of the toolbar, I'll go up two above the A, you'll see a little star or laser light. If you click on that star or laser light, um, you will be able to put the marker on the map. So go over to the toolbar on the right. Can you see the letter A? Above the letter A is a pencil. Above that is a little um, laser light. Or if you can get a little clip art on there, that would be cool. Now I know we've got, Effie's just joined us from Greece. Uh, Michael's busy with his coffee in Western Australia and I know we probably have a lot more people from around the world. Penny, at this stage your mic is deactivated but if you've got a question or are you clapping, uh, can you just put it in the chat and I'll answer it from there. Okay, so this is the world and part of us is global education. So first of all, I would love to Oh, this is uh, some of the people in the Hello Little World Skype group. So we have written on the whiteboard, hello, in our normal language. So I would love you to look at that. Yeah, Effie needs to do it still. Effie came in late. So if you have a look, there's a letter A on the toolbar. So if you could write on there um, in your language. So can you see the letter A? Double click on the A and then click on the whiteboard and you will be able to say hello. So all of these people are members of what's called a Skype group and I'm sure most of you will have been on Skype or hopefully you know about it because it's a video conferencing software that is so user friendly and easy to use and because of that people from across the world very easily are able to use Skype. You can have chat, audio, video, we can send each other files and uh, we can message each other even when we're not online. So I wonder if you can all work out what country are we all from, what languages do we speak as our first language. Oh, David's coming, sorry I have to see who's coming in from our group here so just give me a minute. First of all I want to introduce Catherine to you because Catherine is the founder of this amazing group. So she's going to talk a little bit about why she started the group, how she started the group and a little bit about where she lives. And it's so exciting because we're all actually in a room together which very rarely happens. So Catherine, will you grab the talk button and tell us about um, the Hello Little World group. Well, good afternoon. It's uh, it's lunchtime here. It's twelve six, and it's a great honor for me to tell you something about how we founded our little group. Um, first of all, I was born in the United States. My mother is from Austria, and my father was from or was from Croatia. Uh, both uh, my family lived in the states for sixteen years. Afterwards, we moved uh, to Austria, where I have been living, I went to school here, and I have been teaching for the last 16 years. 
Um, I'm multicultural and multilingual. I try to speak English, German, Croatian, and I live in a bilingual area where German and Slovenian is spoken. And I, I have also picked up quite a lot of Slovenian. And I studied French. So I think I'm, I would call myself multilingual. I teach uh, English and history at an upper secondary vocational school. And I was getting a bit frustrated because my, some of my students have a, are very narrow-minded. And that's why I started contacting people via Skype. And accidentally, I met Brad Peach, who teaches in McKinney, Texas. And we started Skyping. It was amazing how our students uh, were uh, conversing, communicating. Uh, we saw the differences between growing up here in Austria or growing up in the United States. And uh, I remember one session where it was 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And one of my students, 18-year-old, said, so we're going, we're going out for a, uh, a bottle of beer. We're, having, we're getting some beer. And the students in Texas went wild. They couldn't believe that in Austria, 17, 18-year-olds would go for a drink after school. And these are the amazing things that we see differences worldwide. I remember another uh, session where we talked to a school in Java where people eat dog meat. My pupils were, you know, you know, went wild. And when my pupils told the kids in Java that we eat pig, uh, that we eat pork, the students over there started to scream, oh my god, what kind of people are you? Well, this is how we started. We met, uh, Brad and I started adding people onto our group, Lima from Lithuania, uh, Joe McNulty, who is still a very, uh, which I would say uh, one of the you know, who is still very active. We started adding more and more people. Right now, I think we have more than 150 uh, teachers worldwide participating 24/7, uh, sharing, uh, teaching, uh, anything. Any questions? Perhaps Catherine will get people to put the questions in the chat um, because, uh, no, the video, I have to go through that in a minute. Uh, we'll get people to put the questions in the chat or get questions at the end because I think we have about 12 people um, from our group that will all share what, that, what their role is. So do you have a question? Um, do you want to quickly grab the microphone and then and we'll move on to the next slide. Actually, Sue, I don't think you've got a microphone at the moment. So if you could put your question in the chat, that would be great. You're not late, Pat. We've only just started, really. I'm going to drop a link into the chat. And this is a little video. Um, if you could click on that link, uh, we'll let you watch that outside the room. So if you click on the link, it will take you to that video. Uh, they're not all here, not the 140, but there are many, Lorraine. That's a song that Armando, uh, Armando from France, I think he's from France, uh, actually made up for Hello Little World Skypers. So it's just about our group. Oh, so I don't, don't catch that. Never mind, Basque country. <laughs> Thank you, Effie. My geography, I'm learning all the time. So if you do, please listen to that. We'll just put the timer on for two minutes. So if for some reason you can't hear it, we're not going to be very long in silence. Yes, so click on that YouTube link above. I'll put it in again in case you missed it. And you'll hear some of the talents of our group. OK, we might keep going then. I stopped the recording so we didn't have a big pause when people come in and listen. Um, 
So we'll continue on. If you're listening to that video, just uh, pause it perhaps and you can listen to it later. Catherine was our co-founder and I think that I found Hello Little World in Skype in Education soon after she formed the group. So that's how I got into this group. Tim, are you still with your class? Tim is from England and he has a class with him. So let's just see if he's going to click on the microphone and respond. Otherwise we'll come back to his slide. Tim, are you there? Okay, Tim might be listening from afar, so if he finishes his class, we'll get him to come and talk. He's one teacher I have Skyped with, and I was rather amazed to look inside a, an English school or classroom, complete with beautiful wooden desks and surroundings, and laptops under those desks. Govinda is one of our very, very special uh, members. He, it is a great song, isn't it? So Govinda is going to talk about how he, what his classroom looks like, what it's like where he lives and what this group means to him. So Govinda, click on the talk button and please tell us about your slide. I think Govinda may have dropped out, am I right? Govinda was here earlier so hopefully he comes back in. Of all of our members, Govinda and Ndung probably have the lowest um, access or infrastructure. So, oh, Govinda, let me make you a moderator. You must have dropped out before uh, someone's done that. Govinda, Hello. do you want to tell us? Yes. Namaste. I'm Govinda from the Paris from Nepal. So here are some pictures in the slide. I'm sure. Last year, you know, we were sponsored by one, a group from US uh, that, that is called Open World Project. So, you know, students from the Open World Project, you know, provided us support to buy two laptops uh, and internet connectivity for the cyber school. Uh, and after buying the laptops here in Nepal, uh, I and teaching my students you know, how we can use laptops and how internet works. So I was just demonstrating uh, this uh, in the classroom. So students were really excited and they were glad to see the new machine at the rural area here. So in the second slide, uh, so my daughter, uh, she was fifth grader last year. Uh, she was using you know the laptop at home and uh, yeah and uh, she is painting there and she loves painting a lot it is her hobby and so uh, she had uh, you know she has a great opportunity uh, to learn you know the technology things so in the third slide, uh, you can see a classroom. This is a classroom from Lin, Lin I think. <laughs> yeah. So, and we were Skyping uh, with Lin Lin's class, and it was really so. I use Skype and sometimes hang out, you know, uh, to you know, collaborate some projects with the teachers and the students, you know, across the world. But for me, sometimes the time difference is a problem. Uh, and this year, last year, we didn't, we you know, I didn't have better connectivity, so I was facing a lot of problems. And uh, I came across uh, with Steve Sherman, you know, from uh, Cape Town, South Africa, and uh, from, I met him from the uh, Hello Little World Skypers group. So he was really, you know, um, he is really amazing, an amazing person. So we were talking about uh, the, you know, things uh, at my school. So how it runs and uh, uh, how I am using the internet, you know, at the rural area. So uh, the Skype call was dropping lots of times, and he was a little frustrated. 
So later on, you know, he decided to support me to have better connectivity. And right now, I have you know, better connectivity with his house. And uh, as soon as I, you know, uh, had opportunity to have better connectivity, so he, you know, you know linked me with a hang hangout. So in the fourth slide, you can see in the gym. Uh, so he was uh, sorry. She was talking uh, about uh, the science Mars uh, discovery. And so uh, it was a really amazing. It was uh, a night, my time. I was sitting at my school office. Uh, there was no power, uh, I mean, no electricity in the uh, uh, school, but I was able to be connected there. So uh, I think uh, you can see my image uh, uh, there, uh, but it was really you know, nice for me. And later on, I have opportunity to you know, join Hangout, uh, uh, with uh, Dr. Coleman, and she was an astronaut. You know, I was able to, you know, join or hang out, join hang out with her too. And uh, here, Janet is there. And so Janet is also from the Little World Skypers group, and so I also joined, you know, hang out with her. And I brought some of my students, you know, uh, there too. But uh, I think you can see the picture there, you know, from my students there. So it was really, uh, you know, nice. And here you can see my fifth graders in the last slide. Uh, you, know, you know, they are joining, you know, United. And uh, so actually, uh, it was uh, a, a few months ago. Uh, they wanted to do some uh, extra activities, and uh, uh, on every Friday we do some extracurricular activities. And that day they wanted to, you know, uh, see some uh, you no know, photo, you no know, PowerPoint slides, PowerPoint yeah, slides. Uh, so um, that day, you know, they were united and and they were very happy because uh, uh, I told them. You know, we have so many connections uh, from across, I mean, across the world, and people are very interested to listen to us, and uh, they are very much happy to hear about us. Uh, so I'm trying my best to, you know, do some sharing about our culture, about uh, about how school is run. Actually, this school is, you know. Run on goodwill uh, with limited resources. Gavinda, uh, thank you so much. You have so much to tell us. We should get you to present for a whole session. But we might just move on to the next person because we've got so many of us here to present tonight. Now, I know Louise actually got her alarm going really early this morning. So, Louise, do you want to tell us what time is it for you? And can you talk to your slide, perhaps as briefly as possible, and then we'll come up, come back if we get time to talk more. So over to you. Otherwise, you just need to click on the talk button. So Louise, remember the talk button up the top there, can you see it? Uh, perhaps we'll come back to Louise because she may have moved on to do something else and reminded me we do that. She could have gone for a coffee. So Steve, Steve is, um, has become a very popular member and he might tell you why, where he's from. And if I put the timer on Steve, do you think you can do it under the five minutes? If the talk button is at the top of the toolbar, there's a module on the left hand side and you'll see a talk. So let me know when Louise is back, but over to you Steve. Hello Steve, I hope people you're hearing me, are you? Can you smile? So you have to press the talk button. 
which is at the top of all our names. And if I don't, oh, Steve's about to chat. And if you can't get your microphone to work, just go to Tools, Audio, Audio Setup Wizard, and we will come back to you. OK, having problems. So we'll come back to Steve. He has so many stories to tell. We're going to go now to Paula. So Paula, tell us about your slide, please. Good morning, everyone. This is Paula Noggle from New Orleans, Louisiana, um, where it is um, after 5 o'clock in the morning. So I had to uh, set my alarm nice and early so that I could uh, get up and be a part of this absolutely awesome group of educators. I joined Hello Little World Skypers late last year because I have been connecting uh, my students a lot within the United States and a little bit within Canada, but I wanted to um, find some global connections. And um, thanks to Michael Geffen, he invited me to join the group, and I did. And at first, yeah, I was a little overwhelmed because uh, with the time zone, the, this little group is talking and uh, communicating through Skype IM 24-7. So I keep Skype on on all my computers. And those of you that use Skype know that you get the little ping message when somebody has IM'd on Skype, which you might hear right now in the background. Um, and it pops up uh, a little notification at the bottom of the board. And my students, every time I saw that, they, they thought we were going to be doing a Skype call every time one of those messages popped up. But of course, we couldn't do it all the time because you know, of other commitments in the classroom. So I've had the wonderful opportunity to do Google Hangouts and to help Teresa Allen, who's part of this group and in the, in the, one of the moderators today. Um, my, myself and my students actually helped do a virtual professional development for her teachers in Illinois. And then, of course, one of the big hits last year was when we got to Skype with Steve in South Africa, and he kept my students very well engaged with his wonderful humor and his absolutely great brain workouts through the math department. Thank you. Thanks, Paulie. Um, you've given some others a little bit of time. Teresa, it's over to you. Now, some of you will know, some of the people here are so well known online anyway. And here we all are in one group. So Teresa, tell us about yourself and your class. Uh, Teresa, are you with us? Teresa works in Are you Blackboard hear me now? Yes, we can. Go ahead, Teresa. OK. Uh, hi, uh, let me change the slide. Thank you. Um, I'm Teresa Allen. I'm from Joliet, um, Illinois, in the United States. I'm a technology teacher. Uh, for the Cathedral of St. Raymond School. And I've been there for, I think, 13 years now. Um, but only um, about, let's see, this January, I had um, the opportunity to join the Hello Little World Skypers group. And um, this group, and I, and I try to explain it to a lot of um, my teachers and, and friends and that, uh, this group is a very active group 24-7. Uh, if you are gone for the weekend and come back and check Skype, you're going to have hundreds of messages that you're going to need to skim through. And um, can you hear me? OK. Um, and so that's kind of a, a fun uh, uh, power group. Uh, so it's not, it's not for a group that, um, for somebody that is new to Skype. Um, or you know if you can if you can handle all of us, <laughs> but anyways, uh, like Paula has said, we're on a lot, and we have this is just one. Yeah, that's my uh, no, that's not my my new room. That's actually a classroom uh, where we had Skype with uh, Effie's class in uh, Greece, and uh, we hope to do this monthly, where um, uh, the fourth graders and her children will start to have a type of relationship online. 
Uh, so uh, we have a large group of amazing educators, and you can pop something in the chat and somebody will answer. That's probably the best thing, um, best type of um, professional development or just uh, uh, collaboration ever. So uh, very privileged to be in this group, and um, I just wanted to, to say how amazing everybody is. Thank you. Looks like Anne may not be here, Anne. Thank you, Teresa. I agree. It is an amazing group. There's always activity 24-7. Uh, Lorraine, uh, your turn to tell us a bit about where you live and about your slide, please. Hello, everyone. I'm uh, logging in from Newton, Mass, on the east coast of the US near Boston. And I joined the Hello Little World Skypers about a year ago and have had an opportunity to um, meet with many of the teachers here, whether it's in a Google Hangout or in the Skype chat or Steve's spoken with my uh, students. So it's been a, a great 24-7 professional development and uh, opportunity for my students to connect and meet people from many places in the world. Lorraine, do you want to talk a little bit about the photographs that you've put there? You've got a minute or so. Okay. Um, so through the group that I have uh, met uh, Reinhard, and Reinhard and I uh, worked together, and we did a uh, a song called Inscription of Hope, and we were able to collaborate together, so that was a great opportunity. And on the left side, you see the music teacher. We did a, uh, a Skype call at Halloween where my students were dressed in different uh, how are in different um, costumes, historical figure costumes, and we Skyped many of the, or maybe five members of the group. And at one point, Steve actually had a sort of guessed on which historical figure we were, and that's the second photograph. Um, and I've connected with you via uh, for Scratch projects and also uh, the Google Hangout where uh, Eric Rosenbaum was speaking about the Makey Makey. So those are a couple of the projects that we were participating in. Thanks, Lorraine. Janet Van Stable is a well-known uh, global identity. It was too early in the morning for her to meet us this morning, but she prepared a slide. So you can take a little bit of that time to read what Janet is involved in. Um, she's probably, she does so much of the technical work. If someone needs to have a photo put somewhere or a video created, Janet will offer. And she will. She is often online in that Skype group, ready to answer any questions or help out where uh, necessary. And she is the classroom coordinator of Virtual Classroom, which some of you may know. And she publishes projects on the Clubhouse at Wikispaces. I don't think Sebastian came. But Sebastian's another person, I think, who started very early on with Kathy. Um, I think he was one of the first members of this group. He's from India. And he's an amazing person who is trying to get students um, to help adults learn technology, learn the power of Skype so that their country can connect with the world and learn from it and buy it. So Catherine, do you want to just quickly grab the microphone uh, and just tell us a little bit about Sebastian? Was he one of your co um, founding Sebastian members or one of the first? started a month later. He's uh, very, very faithful, somebody you can always count on. He has always been present. Whenever there was somebody, whenever I needed anybody, Sebastian was always here 24-7. If it was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, he was always present. Very active. Um, and he has 
Um, okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you'd finished, but I agree. Sebastian's often done that for me too. So he is he is presenting. Thank you, Jose. He's putting all that in. Okay, this is me. Um, I am a teacher in South Eastern Australia. I teach in a small rural school, where our students are culturally and rurally, uh, rurally, is geographically isolated. So this is our school sign. It's um, we teach Chinese Mandarin as our second language, but we love to Skype and connect with the world. And in fact, our library shows a lot of the flags of the countries that we have connected with. So Dave is in our room right now. We had a fantastic session that he and Steve set up for us, and it was a mystery Skype. So I hope if we've got time at the end, we can talk about our mystery Skyping, because that's one of our most popular ways of connecting our students together. And this one down here, I think um, Chrissy from Bangkok, someone, oh no, I can't remember, but someone was reading us a book, because we didn't have that book in our library. OK, that's me. Veronica, um, grab the microphone and tell us about your slide. You'll have about three or four minutes. Are you there, Veronica? So click on the talk button. And do you want to tell us about your slide? Sorry, Sorry I forgot to click on the mic just now. Hello, uh, hello everyone. Uh, first of all, thank, thank you to Catherine, uh, the founder of uh, Hello Little World Skypers, for setting up such a great uh, uh, Skype, uh, site where educators uh, from around the world can get together and uh, get connected uh, with each other. Uh, I think mean, Hello Little World is a very flexible uh, platform where uh, the educators from around the world uh, will get connected to each other uh, at their own uh, time and uh, according to uh, the, the the time that they have, and uh, as for me, I uh, since I teach English as a second language, I believe and I uh, perceive a language communication and thinking as central to all disciplines of learning. Uh, in fact, this year I have not been very active on Hello Little World because I've been uh, really uh, tied down with very heavy work commitments, especially over here in Malaysia, uh, where we are trying to uh, implement uh, a digital environment for schools uh, in almost all the schools here in Malaysia, which I will talk about tomorrow in my presentation. Uh, and some of the uh, interesting things that I've uh, done uh, on Hello Little World uh, Skype Skype uh, is uh, with people like uh, Endang, um, Renee, um, there's quite a, a, a long list, okay, and uh, somehow uh, there were times that uh, when you need to uh, spy something a bit in the class and then uh, you, you get uh, all these uh, Hello the World Skypers online and uh, you could sort of like uh, Come, uh, let them come into your rescue plan and you can get them uh, to do something interesting with the students. And in fact, I see every event, every uh, moment it can be a very uh, inspiring and even uh, teachable moments for students and even for myself. And uh, as for me, I'm always inspired by people like Govinda because he's really uh, teaching in an environment uh, which is uh, very challenging. And uh, and Govinda did once tell me about uh, you know, he really needs funding for certain things in the school. So Govinda, if you have anything that you would like me to help out, I think I would be uh, very keen to help out. Uh, perhaps you can write to me or email to me. And as for Endang, uh, I think uh, I just had an interesting lesson with her. Was it yesterday, Endang? Yeah, uh, it was through Mystery Skype. And uh, there were... Uh, students are practicing uh, speaking English, uh, as I think also in that environment is uh, teaching English in the, perhaps in a, in a, as a foreign language. Okay, um, and then uh, there was people like uh, there, there's somebody uh, there's this uh, Skype educator from Germany, uh, Rene. Uh, he was very helpful uh, at one time when I was, he shared this uh, schooling. I think schooling the world, and I was trying to download one of these DVDs, but uh, uh, I, I just couldn't get it. 
uh, downloaded and he took the trouble to send the DVD to me uh, through email. And thank you to Rene. I think you are here or just I saw your name there just now. Uh, and I think I would not take up too much of uh, the time because I know we have a long list of educators here as I see from the slide uh, because I'll be talking more about uh, what I've been doing uh, through my presentation tomorrow. I hope to see uh, everyone tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Veronica. Yes, we better keep moving on. David, have you got uh, David in the room? I've got to remember who's in there. David, are you able to click on the talk button and tell us a little bit about your work with the Hello Little World Skype group? Hi, everyone. Um, good morning. It's 5.39 a.m. Uh, where I'm at. Can you hear me? I'm not sure if you guys can hear me. Yes, we hear you loud and clear. Excellent. Um, I'm, I'm David Karnasek from Glenview, Illinois. I teach third grade, and um, I, I was really searching out ways to connect with other teachers um, in my own school, and I found I found it kind of kind of hard for even teachers in my own building to open up their doors to me and to want to Skype with me within my own school. So I, I kind of started searching out uh, basically my own um, you know professional learning community because we didn't have them in my school, and um, so I, I found Skype, and then I found Skype in the classroom, and that's kind of my, my quest and journey to find this group. And I ended up landing in this group from, I'm not even sure who connected me to the group. If you're out there, you can, you can shout out that you did, but thank you to whoever connected me because this, this group really has changed my teaching. It's changed my vision. I've, you know, picked up books from some of the people in this group, and it's really um, engages my students. Like, like I've never seen kids jump up and down so excited to learn. So, um, you know, the, the, also, the awesome part about this is um, educators in this group give up their own time to Skype with my class. Um, there's not very many educators out there that will just at their house at 9.30 at night sit and talk to third graders in Glenview, Illinois, when they're on the other side of the country. Um, I, I just think it's a it's a wonderful community that that builds builds collaboration and teaches our kids um, global citizenship and just everything that we could ever want um, to teach our students in the 21st century. So I, I'm really happy to be a part of this group and everyone out there. You're all awesome, and I love I love all the work that we do. And we love having you in the group too, David. Thank you. Uh, Michael, now Michael has got me on there too. Over to you, Michael. I think, unfortunately, we have to pull you back to three minutes each, but go. Are you there, Michael? Just click on the talk button. Well, Lucy, I think we've only got one hour, haven't we? We could go on for three. Okay, so. Michael, we'll skip you for a minute and come back to you. Uh, Renee, did Renee turn up? If anyone sees her in the room, please let me know. But Renee is, I think she joined us in this year. Um, so she is a very active member of our group from Trinidad. Ryan Hart, um, over to you. Looks like we're having problems with talking, are we? Reinhardt, if you click on the talk button, there's a talk button at the top left-hand corner. And if I don't see you grab it in a few minutes, I'll just move on to the next one. I'm hoping Catherine will put in the chat how to actually join the group. Catherine, did you want to talk? Oh wow, there's Reinhardt's club. Okay. 
Okay, we're getting some interesting sounds here. Yes, um, Reinhardt, the sound is not coming through. So I will just see if it improves now. Um, yes, I don't know where that sound is coming from. It might be Reinhardt's class itself. I'm trying to see the mics. Sorry, Reinhardt, I'm just going to switch your mic off for a minute. Because unfortunately, it's not working. We might come back. Sorry about that. Oops, we're back again. Okay, I'll just leave it off for a minute. Reinhardt, the sound isn't working, so we'll come back to you at the end if we can. But wonderful to see your um, picture. Ndung is another special member of the group. So Ndung, you've got three minutes or four minutes to tell us about your role in the group. Okay, thank you, Anne, for this time. Hello, my name is Endang, Palu Endang Palupi. I'm from Pekalongan, Indonesia. I'm an English teacher in grade seven for this year and also educator for global classroom project in some school in my city. And uh, I, I, I would like to say thank you to Anne because uh, he introduced me to Hello Little World Skyper and this is a good uh, opportunity for me uh, to join with this group. Uh, uh, I use a much uh, Skype and Google Hangout for my connection with uh, school from all over the world here and um, most of uh, Hello Little World Skype member, I have talked with them. With Steve, uh, sometimes we do in uh, his early morning and with the American like Teresa, Lauren, uh, Louis and Janet, David. We, uh, we have a uh, connect with uh, some school here in our city. We use uh, uh, this connection for, for our our class in English class because we have to practice our English here so I make uh, them uh, connect with uh, some people here from all over the world so they can practice their English here and I hope uh, I can meet with all of you and uh, we can get connect uh, to school in Pekalong. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Anne For many of us, it's so easy to connect with a country that speaks English as their first language. Uh, to connect with some of these Asian countries can be rather amazing because the English spoken is not strong and it's a real challenge and a great challenge for our students to communicate. Karen, I don't think, is with us. So somebody put in the chat quickly if Karen is. She's one of the newer members of our group, but very enthusiastic and keen to get herself involved in as many Skype link-ups as possible. Sean, I don't know that we've got Sean either. So somebody put their hand up. Does that mean I missed someone? Just grab the mic while I see the... Um, Yes, yeah, Steve, I know you're there. You need to go next to your Effie. Okay, I'm going to pull you over to Effie. So go, Effie, and tell us where you're from, and yeah, it'd be great if we could hear you. So, Effie, click on the talk. Hello. Go. Hello, oh, we can hear you hear me? Yes, we can. Great. Great. Kalimera Apotinafina. Um, I'm Effie Kirikakis and um, I'm the director, the academic director for, of uh, Winners Language School in Athens, Greece. Well, um, our school being a language school, we've always um, tried to design innovative programs 
to keep our students involved, in, especially in oral communication. However, we've never managed to do it as well as we uh, have in the last uh, one year. Um, ever since we connected with um, this book. Well, it's been an amazing year for us. Um, from the beginning, I realized that the, the potential that this technology and this group could give us. And um, ever since uh, Catherine invited me to the group, um, I realized there was a whole new world waiting for us here. Um, I realized that up to now, uh, we've been instructing our students to speak the language, um, having them sit in a room without windows. So this room just opened up our windows to the world. And um, if we can um, scroll down to um, the slide of our school, which is right after Joe's, uh, you can see that um, we've done quite a few amazing things um, during the past year. Uh, the first thing we did was uh, we Skype. We learned to Skype. And yes, there you are. You just said the one back. There you are. OK. Uh, so the first thing we did was Skype, um, learn how to Skype. And everybody was so willing uh, to help us learn how to use technology in the classroom. Uh, here you can see the picture of us Skyping with Teresa's class. Um, just a month ago, we've been uh, we've been arranged we've arranged for every single one of our uh, classes to connect once month monthly with a school from any country of the world. Um, currently, we've got connections with uh, the USA, Russia, um, England, and we're building we're building up connections with uh, lots of other countries as well. Um, another thing we organized last year, and it was an amazing success, was the, 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 the Sunny South project. Well, um, having realized how things are going to the worst in Greece, and not just in Greece, um, we thought that we should encourage our students to uh, think positively, count their blessings. And it seems it's not just in Greece that this is important. Um, Schools from over uh, 87 countries have logged in uh, the Sunnyfield project, and more than 20 countries have already contributed content uh, to, the, to our wiki. Uh, we also, um, I have to say that our Monday was a great help here. Uh, we also worked with um, Lorraine from the USA, and we created different projects on Scratch. Uh, one of them is the one you can see here, the World Friends Project, where uh, students from different classes of the world, uh, yes, that one, <laughs> um, different classes of the world take, uh, take part in their little sprites um, saying hello to each other. Um, and we also connected with, um, um, we presented Greek poetry at um, a UNESCO project. This was an idea of uh, Vincent. Uh, one of our French uh, collabor collaborators here in, uh, this, in this group. Um, and it was a great opportunity for us to present our work on a global, uh, to a global um, community, to the global community. So it's been great belonging to this group. And we're definitely going on and keep being together with a group of friends, actually. Thank you. Thank you, Effie. Now you can see we have so much to share, but I'm going to get Steve to talk next. Um, Lorraine or uh, Teresa, can you put the slide on? Because mine don't seem to be moving for you. So, Steve, over to you. All right. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Excellent. Okay. So the voice is working. Um, I know that I've only got a a short while to speak, but um, <clears throat> I would have to say that uh, my experience of the HLW uh, Skype group has been a very positive one in the sense that you know we, we get a chance to connect with educators around the world, but as an educator myself, I think that if I want to teach my students about another country, a textbook doesn't do it justice. 
You know, you can show photographs on the internet, but it's not the same as actually having your students chat to kids in another classroom. And um, obviously, you know, speaking with students and collaborating and, and, and working with other teachers is great, but you know, the, the internet has, has so many other possibilities. And recently I've been exploring getting a, a few prominent speakers to, to address students here in Cape Town, South Africa, and inviting um, our HLW Skypers to join in on our Google Chats uh, in the Google Hangout. And uh, recently we spoke with Dr. Catherine Coleman. We also spoke with um, one of the engineers for Mars Curiosity. And we had about seven or eight schools joining us there. And students around the world were able to actually connect and ask questions to a real astronaut. So when you think about it, uh, you'll see the, the, the bottom photo, there's a, a lovely image of um, Sebastian uh, from in, uh, India. He was addressing a whole bunch of principles while I was doing a workshop for principles. What, a, what an exciting way to, uh, to share the idea and the enthusiasm that one can get from, from collaborating globally by bringing someone in during the session. And I think that the world is, is still taking a while to catch on to the possibilities. But I think that the core group that we are working with at the moment are incredibly enthusiastic. They really are a group of friends that we like to work with. We speak to each other. In fact, I see more activity in the Skype group, the HLW Skype group, than I do see on most Twitter pages. So you know, if, if anyone is listening in and is interested in starting out, I can only recommend the, the camaraderie and the fantastic uh, collaboration, the sharing that goes on. It's a very unselfish environment. When people learn new skills, they, they throw them at everyone else straight away so that we can empower ourselves and become far better educators. So I've had a wonderful experience with HLW Skypers, and I'm looking forward to many more. Thank you, Steve. Well done. Um, now, Joe's got to go to class, so we'll do Joe next, then Jose. Oh, Lynn, Lynn, you've got to go too. I'm so sorry. Uh, can we go to you, Joe? Can you do it in two or three minutes? Uh, sure. Can you hear me all right? Yes, we can. Oh, excellent, excellent. My name is Joe McNulty. I teach at Newtown Middle School near Philadelphia in the USA. Uh, the last time I was up this early and on Skype, I was making Swiss steak for uh, Catherine students over in Austria as a demonstration of cooking in the USA. And it's been an interesting ride since then. That was about a year ago. Uh, what I do with my students, uh, I teach computer applications at the middle school. My students are 11 to 14 years old. Every year I see about 900 students for a six week long computer class. Honestly, most of them know how to use Skype but they don't know how to use it very well. So the lesson plan and, and what my class is all about is, is trying to upgrade their skills, teach them how to use it professionally. And this group has been outstanding in helping me with that. Having the opportunity to, to have my students interview teachers from around the world, learn about school elsewhere in the world, and, and actually just practice the skill of setting up an interview has been a great experience for them. But beyond that, there's been all the other opportunities. Uh, Steve's always come through with some great things, like uh, one of the pictures there in the middle is just talking with a group of uh, students that he had arranged completely off the, uh, off the cuff, and, and that went very, very well. Talking to uh, teachers, though, and, and the teachers in this group, it's really an inspiring group, and it's really been a lot of fun to be a part of. And that's about it. Thank you, Joe. Lynn Lynn, are you still with us? Do you want to quickly grab the mic? microphone or did she have to go? So Lin Lin is from Taiwan, which is an unusual country for us to be able to connect with. Louise, um, do you want to go next? Sure, I think I got it fixed. <laughs> had a little technical difficulty there. Um, I'm Louise Morgan, I'm from Fort Worth, Texas, and I joined the Global Classroom Project um, a year or so ago, and through that is how I got associated with the Hello Little World Skypers. Um, like David, I really don't remember how and when it happened. It just did, and I'm very, very glad that it did. Um, it's opened a whole world to my students. We have um, Skyped around the world. Um, it's given me the courage 
in the um, the the stuff that I need to um, create a project and and do things that I wouldn't have normally done um, without the support that um, is there. So I that's all I have to say. I know we're running out of time. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody. Thank you, Louise. Louise has got up so early in the morning for us. Okay, Jose, over to you. Hey, good morning, everyone. It's actually almost 6 a.m. here. I am Jose Popov from Honduras. We in Central America. It's a small country in Central America. Um, being a part, I, I think I became part of, of the Hello Little World Skypers early this year, and uh, it has been amazing. Uh, like Steve was saying, the, the comedy. Or, or the friendship that 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 um, that flows through the group is amazing. I have made several presentations. The most recent one was in in Guatemala, which is a country that was north from from mine. And uh, I remember I just asked uh, friends from Hello Little World if they could join me to a Google Hangout, and I always had a tremendous answer from them. It's 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 amazing the willingness. Uh, you can see right there on my on my slide right at the bottom at the bottom right. That was the conference I was having. It was an institute in Guatemala, um, and, and and it's amazing. I have been able to connect uh, my students with with several countries in the world. Um, it, thanks to thanks to this group, thanks to the willingness, it, it's awesome. One of the things that, that I was talking with Anne about is that there was one time which I was teaching Google Docs to some ninth graders, and uh, I wanted them to see how Google Docs works. So I actually used two computers. I used one computer to show them the document. I used another one to so so they could see that from from remotely I could actually edit this. This this um this document. So in that moment, it occurred to me, I'm going to ask some friends in Hello to the World to help me out. And uh, I don't know if it's looking the resource in this presentation, but that little thing that ended up as it's just a, a Google document, you know, just to just to show students how it works. It was filled with slides from from a lot of teachers from HLW. Students were impressed, and uh, and it's and it's been pretty great. It's been a great journey. And I am I am looking forward to connections, looking forward to what the future holds for us. So thank you very much and have a great morning from Honduras. Thank you, Jose. Jose is such an innovative teacher. Okay, we're going to try and go to Reinhardt and his class in Germany. So Reinhardt, have a go again. It's still chip. It's, unfortunately, it's still chip punching Reinhardt. Yeah, sorry. We will um, have to take that off. Sorry. What a pity, because it'd be great to see his class. Who have I left out? Can you quickly tell me in the chat? Because our time is such a Michael. Is Michael still there? Otherwise, our time. Yeah, I'm here, but the time's up. So, um, just um, I'm a relief teacher from Perth, Western Australia. Um, I'll be presenting on Friday night at the same time as this presentation. If you want to hear more, um, working, love working with Had a Little World and Global Classroom. Um, and I will point out that uh, Indang in Indonesia has a lot to answer for for. Uh, Dragging me, kicking and screaming into the world of mystery sky. Thank you, Michael. If I missed anyone that would really like to say something, I'm sorry. We should have perhaps put the timer on early, shortened us off. You can see we all have so much to share. I sent a word document with lots of contact details. Um, I am merchant at Gmail. If you've missed anything and want to ask more. Don't forget to listen to that song of Amando's. Um, that was great. So thank you everyone for coming. We didn't have time for questions. Thank you everyone who participated and put the slides together. There are probably more people that didn't come, lots of slides and resources. But we look forward to talking again next year. Thank you everyone.